shall tell you of William Wallace. Well, actually we shall tell you about the Mel Gibson movie Braveheart, where it was shot and how to get to those places, at least to those scenes which were filmed in Scotland. In the year of grace 2014, that is 700 years after the successful Battle of Bannockburn, two of my brothers and I went to Scotland. Since we are big fans of the movie Braveheart from an early age on, it was kind of a dream come true. It is generally known that the village young Wallace grows up in the movie was built in Glen Nevis. This valley is close to Fort William and pretty easy to find. Once you get there, the first thing you'll recognize is the uniquely shaped mountain to the left and on the one following several straight lines of trees. If you drive down the road for a short while, you will soon get to two little hills, that's where the English fort was built. The alignment of the map is in northern direction of course, that's why we put the photo in an upside down position to show the way you will see the spot when you go there. Here you can see the whole area where the scenes were shot. On the side in front of the river was the fort and the village. To get to the other side of the river you can either cross a bridge early on the street or cross the river by foot. At first we didn't know where the bridge was, so we decided to walk through the river. The ground and the stones are very slippery and one has to be cautious. On the other hand, it's a lot of fun and kind of adventurous. On the other side of the river is the meadow where the wedding scene was filmed and Wallace encounters Hamish with the stones and also the burial of Marin. Farther up the mountain is the clearing where William waves to Marin. Behind a little grove is the place where the hut of the Wallaces was erected. Also the burial place of the father and brother of William. And the cluster of trees in the direction where William heads off with Argyle. In this direction is also the tree where William waits for Marin in their little wood. I'm very proud of this photo in particular. Even the snow on the mountains is in similar shape like in the movie. There grew no thistles when we got to this place, that's why we took fern instead, but I think you're getting the idea. On another location in Scotland my brother found a single blooming thistle and picked it. I pressed it and now got it at home. It's incredible that we've been to this place. The camera angle is different from the movie. Their camera was in a higher position, but without a doubt it's the exact place. Since we had no female person around, that's my brother here waving to an invisible Wallace. It was not easy to find this spot, indeed it took us a long time. When we found it at last, it was already dark, and in this time of the year the sun in Scotland sets around midnight. That's why we got back there the next morning to make some photos.
The valley is beautiful. The only official reference to the movie Braveheart in Scotland, the Braveheart car park. Unfortunately, there's not much to see. William Wallace killed 50 men. 50 efforts was won. 100 men. With his own sword. Cut through them like Moses through the Red Sea. Now we're getting to the highlight of our trip, the ridge where Mel Gibson stood when he ran up the mountain. On the internet there's nothing to find about where the spot could be, it's only said in which area they shot the scenes. So my brother watched the movie scene meticulously and found out which lakes, the Scot would say lochs, were to see in the background and from which angle they were to view like this. Afterwards we were pretty sure which mountain we would have to climb. We parked our car at the foot of the mountain and started up. On the first top we could already see one of the seas or lochs, so we got very enthusiastic. After each and every of the following tops we expected to find the exact rock. In the end it took us about 3 or 4 hours to find it. It was incredible. You can see for yourself that in fact it is the same place because of the structure of the rocks. There's kind of a straight cut through one of them. Again, the angle is different because in the movie they shot the scene from a helicopter, but I think the pictures talk for themselves. My brother wanted to set a memorial which proved that we've been there. So he laid down a platter and engraved the words Mel Gibson 95. If we ever get to this place, the platter should still lay there. The path where Mel Gibson runs around the Greensward still looks the same way than 20 years ago. For my brothers and me a childhood dream had come true. We hope that this short video brings pleasure to all of you Braveheart fans out there and perhaps encourages you to also make a trip to this beautiful country and the places where the movie has been shot.
on the flies. <lacht> <lacht> das stimmt, diesen Punkt. 